Okay. Let us sit comfortably. Sukhasana, Padmasana, Ardha Padmasana, whichever is comfortable for you. Roll your shoulders, make your spine erect. Palms open to the ceiling. Eyes closed. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out slowly. Take a few more deep breaths. Inhale the vital energy and exhale all your worries away. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly. Take one more long deep breath in. Breathe out slowly and completely. Now let us chant Om three times, bringing your fingers to Chin Mudra. Breathe in for Om. Oh. Oh. We join your palms together. Oh, Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Unetu, Sahaviriam Karavavahe, Tejas Vina Vadita Mastuma, Vishavadhe. Om Shanti 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 He Slowly rub your palms, stop it on your eyes, and look in through the gaps of the fingers. Open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Okay. Now you can sit in. Siddhasana, you can sit in Siddhasana. Today we will do abdominal breathing. Today we will do abdominal breathing. Okay? Just Ujjayi, you can breathe in Ujjayi. Okay? Breathe in, inhale, inhale. And when you are inhaling, your tummy goes out. Okay? Your tummy goes out, breathing. And when you are breathing out, you pull your tummy in. Okay? We will be automatically doing in Ujjayi. We will be doing automatically doing the breathing in Ujjayi. So breathe in when you're breathing in. Deep breath in, abdominal out. And when you're breathing in, breathing out, pull your abdomen in and breathe out. Breathe in, expand your abdomen. Breathe out, pull your abdomen inside. Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen. Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen in. Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen. 
and breathe out completely. Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen. Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen. Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Breathe in, expand your abdomen, expand your chest. Breathe out, pull your abdomen in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Expand your abdomen. Expand your chest. Breathe out. Pull your abdomen in. Now slowly relax. Okay. This is how we have to practice or automatically when you're breathing in, you should see to that your abdomen goes out. And when you're breathing out, your abdomen goes in. Okay, this is how we have to practice always. Normal breathing also. If you observe, now, now you are conscious. When you're doing your normal breathing throughout the day, sometimes you just observe. When you're breathing in, what happens to your belly? When you're breathing out, what happens to your belly? You just observe, even for that small breathing, even for that uh, shallow breathing, you have to observe that your abdomen should go out when you're breathing in. And when you're breathing out, your tummy should go in. Okay, that is how we have to practice. That is how small babies breathe. In between, we have forgotten and we will do it wrongly. But we always should be breathing in, Inhale, your abdomen should go out and exhale, our tummy should go in. Okay? Yeah? Okay. So today onwards, we are starting with the chakra. So today we are going to, we are doing a root chakra. For root chakra, muladhara activation also, this abdominal breathing helps. Abdominal breathing, kapal bhati, whatever is related to the abdomen will work for the root chakra. Okay? Now let us start with our warm-up. Let us start with our neck. Breathing, neck up, look up. Breathe out. Bring your chin to the collarbone. Breathe in, neck up, look up. Breathe out. Bring your chin to the collarbone. Breathe in, neck up, look up. Breathe out, bring your chin to the collarbone. Then come back to center. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, turn to the right. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, right. Breathe in center. Breathe out left. Then come back to center. We'll do the rotation. Bringing your chin to the collarbone. We'll do the rotation. 
breathe in for half second and breathe out for half second. Breathe in half second, breathe out half second, breathe in half second, and breathe out half second. Now the reverse. Breathe in half second and breathe out half second. Breathe in half second and breathe out half second. One last time. Breathe in half second and breathe out half second. Then come back to center. Then come back to center. Now take your hands, take your hands by the side of the body and take it to the take it to the back. Okay. Now we'll do the front and back. Bring your elbows front and back. Elbows front back. Elbows front back. Elbows front back. Front back. Front back. Front back. Then slowly bring your hands behind your hip. Behind your hip. If you are interlacing, you can interlace the fingers. And now do the Flapping inward, outward, inward, outward. Elbows forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Now what we are going to do, we are going to do the alternate. One hand behind, one hand behind your hip, the other hand behind your hip. Okay, this we are going to do alternately. Okay, the head, the hand on the head is palm is facing towards the head, okay? When it goes to the hip, palms, is, palms are facing outward. Do it alternately. Do it alternately. Do it alternately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now bring your hands together. Try to bring your hands together and interlace your fingers. Straighten up your spine and look. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then release. Do the same thing on the other side. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release your hands and relax. Now from here, let us go to table. Let us go to table. Stretching your toes. Breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Breathe out, curve your spine, chin to the collarbone, look towards your navel. Breathe in, arch your spine. Breathe out, curve your spine. Breathe in, arch your spine. Breathe out, curve your spine. Breathe in, arch your spine. Breathe out, curve your spine. Then come back to center. Now we'll do a challenging thing. Lift your one knee off the mat. Lift your left knee off the mat. At the same time, raise the other leg up. Raise the other leg up. Then bring it forward. Then do the same thing on the other leg. Knee should be off the mat. Knee should be off the mat. On your toes. Stretch. Then come back. Stretch. Then come back. Knee should be off the mat, but very close to the mat. Knee should be off the mat, but very close to the mat. Stretch, then come back. Stretch, then come back. Stretch, then come back. Then come to table. Then come to table. Then come to table and stretch your one leg back, the other leg back and come to plank. Bring your right leg to the right side of the hand. Left leg to the left side of the hands. Come to Malasana. Come to Malasana. Malasana is one very good posture for... Um, activating our root chakra. Okay? So now from here, come on your toes, come on your toes and on the heel. 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 
Now from here, straighten up your hands and stand back. Interlacing your fingers, stretching your hands up. Come on your toes and down. On your toes, down. On your toes, down. On your toes, down. Now we'll do something challenging. Bring your heels together and come on your toes. Bring your heels together. Come on your toes. Your heels can touch each other. Your heels can touch each other, but you are on your toes. Take your hands back and now do the squatting and come back. We'll do five times. Two, three, four, and five. Then slowly come back to center. Now take your legs back. Then take your legs wide apart. Wide apart. Bring in your hands above again. Now we are, we are going to go to the goddess pose. Go to the goddess pose. Now come on your heels and on your legs. On your heels, on your toes and on your heels. On your toes and come back. On your toes and then come back. On your toes, then come back. Straighten up your legs. Now we'll do side to side stretches. Stretching your hands by the side. Go to the right side, then come back. Go to the left, come back. Go to the right, come back. Go to the left, come back. Go to the right, come back. Go to the left, come back. Straighten up your hands at the shoulder level. Now we'll do the twisting, twist to the left, come back to center, twist to the right, come back to center. Twist to the left, come back to center. Twist to the right, come back to center. Twist to the left, come back to center. Twist to the right, come back to center. Now relax. Now we'll do Surya Namaskar. We'll do 12. Ready? Yes? Okay. So Sheila, your camera is off. Okay. So let us start. Let us come to the front end of the mat. You start, you, uh, Sushila, so first round, you just watch us do, okay? Second round onwards, you start doing, I'll see how you are doing, okay? Yes. Let us come to the front end of the mat, bringing your palms together. Om Surya Breathe in, raise your hands up, arch your back. Breathe out, bend forward to Father Hastarthana. Breathe in, right leg back, toes stretched. Breathe out, Madhumukha, downward dog. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out, drop your knees, stretch in on the floor. Breathe in, scoop up to Bhujangasana. Breathe out, Madhumukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, Father Hastarthana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Breathe in, the plank. Breathe out, to Sang. Breathe in, to Bhujang. Breathe out, to Adho Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Second round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bujang. Breathe out to Hado Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Third round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, the father has Breathe in, right leg back. 
Breathe out, Hado Mukam. Breathe in the plank. Breathe out, Yashtam. Breathe in the Bujang. Breathe out, Hado Mukam. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out the Padhasthasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Kadomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, fourth round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahasthasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Hado Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, fifth round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padahasthasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, sixth round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, seventh round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up. Breathe out, bend forward. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. 
Breathing, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Eighth round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out the Padarasasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out the Dhamma. Breathe in the plank. Breathe out the Ashtang. Breathe in the Bhujang. Breathe out the Adhamukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to some steady left leg. Breathe in, raise up. Breathe out, bend forward. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Hadomukha. Breathe in, the plank. Breathe out, the stomp. Breathe in, the Bhujang. Breathe out, the Hadomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to some steady. Ninth round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out the father is tasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Kadomi Kam. Breathe in the plank. Breathe out the shang. Breathe in the bujang. Breathe out to the dome kam. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Sadomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Astang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Ten round. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padre Vistasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Padomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, 11th round. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Adomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Kadomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, last round. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out, Kadomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch. Breathe out, Padrishtasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out, Kadomukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujang. Breathe out to Adomukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. 
Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to samasthiti. And relax. Relax. Normalize your breath. Normalize your breath. Relax. Yeah. Sushila, you found it difficult. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I will teach you separately. Steps of Surya Namaskar. Okay. We'll do a separate session for Surya Namaskar. You just try to see others and try to do few asanas, few things at least. Yeah. Okay. Now onwards, you will be able to do no issues. So today we are working on activating our root chakra, Muladhara chakra. Okay. So what is Muladhara chakra standing for? Root chakra. Women saw that. It deals with dash. It, it is blocked by dash. Seven. Deals Seven. with survival and blocked it's by, blocked by fear. Fear, fear. fear. Yes, super. Only Preeti saw the video. <laughs> okay. So, all our survival instincts lie in our base chakra. Okay, we know our body is of energy body. Our body consists of a lot of energy and there are seven energy centers, seven energy centers in our body along the spine till the top of the head. Okay, now we know our brain consists, our brain is inside the skull, but it is connected to all the organs. How it is connected to the or all the organs? through the spinal cord. Spinal cord is nothing but a bunch of nerves. It is moving from, from, uh, from uh, brain to the spinal uh, base of the spine. All the uh, uh, nerves will be curled and around it, it will be inside, uh, I mean, uh, surrounded by the spine, the spinal cords will be running, okay? And all these nerves are connected to the brain. Okay, similarly, similar only is our uh, chakras also. Our base of the spine, from the base of the spine, our energy flows from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Okay? Our energy always flows from bottom to up. Okay? So, our base root chakra connects, it is also called as um, pelvic, uh, what is that? Pelvic uh, plexus. It is called as pelvic plexus and it is mainly connected to our legs, lower limbs, legs, and the four organs which are connected to the root chakra or scientifically, I'm telling about this scientifically, or the, um, what is that, uh, bladder, then uh, uterus, then urethra, and uh, also uh, one more prostate. All these four are connected to the base chakra. So when it comes to base chakra, we normally represent each chakra with, uh, with a lotus, okay? Normally, every chakra will be represented by lotus, will be represented by lotus with different colors, lotus with different colors, and the number of petals also will differ. So, base chakra is a lotus with four petals, okay? Four petals, the four petals represent the four organs it is connecting to. Okay, and the four petals, it is red in color. Base chakra is red in color. Base chakra is red in color. And this four, why it, why this, all these chakras are represented as lotus? Because lotus is, lotus has one big specialty. What is it? Lotus has a specialty that it comes from the root that is a mud. Mud, it is a solid. Then it grows through the water, that is water, that is a liquid. And then it thrives up to blossom above the, above the surface. And there you are connecting it with the air. So all the three, solid, liquid and gas is connected through this lotus. So that lotus is as a special feature. The lotus flower as a special feature. It grows from all the mud up to the surface to bloom, okay? That is the beauty of lotus. That is why all the chakras are also uh, represented by lotus by ancient Gurjis, okay? Now what we will do, we will be activating our um, 
root chakra by certain by using by doing certain asanas so we will do a sequence of asanas we will do a sequence of asanas most of it will be working on our legs and activating our chakra okay it will be working on our lower limbs mainly it will be working on our lower limbs mainly yeah shall we start the sequence yes okay this you will be able to do it easily shushila just you have to keep doing so the first one sitting in vajrasana sit in vajra vajrasana and take gap between the legs take gap between the legs okay and raise your hands up and keep moving forward child pose stretching your hands forward bring your forehead to the mat child pose child pose rest in child pose we we'll count for it i count to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring your hands in Namaskara and twist to one side and come to twist and chair pose. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now twist to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then slowly raise up. Slowly raise up and stand. Now let us do next one. This is also, this also belongs to Brikshasana. This also belongs to Muladhara Chakra. Activates our Muladhara Chakra. Okay, so let us do the three pose. Okay, keeping your one leg, bring the other leg, foot on the thighs, foot on the thighs above. It should be above the knees, it should be above the knees or below the knees, but it should not be on the knees. Okay, knees are not designed to take the load. So take it above and then look at one point. Once you're balancing with your one leg, look at one point and slowly bring your hands up. And stay here. Brikshasana. Three pose. One, two, super. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to center. Do it with the other leg. Do it with the other leg. One. Come on. Do it with the other leg. Balance, balance. Let me see, Preeti. Preeti, you're keeping your legs below, not above. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay. No issues. Now balance and stay here. Above, not on the knees, Murli. It should be above or below. You can bring it below also, like uh, Preeti doing. Ah, yes, above. It should be above or below. It should not be on the knees. Knees are not designed for it. Yes, super Sushila. Stay here. Look at one point and stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release. Slowly release. Next one. Stretch your legs wide apart. Stretch your legs wide apart. Stretch your legs wide apart. Okay? Here also, remember, you have to bend from your, from your back. Your spine should be straight. Your spine should be straight. I will show it in the side. Okay? Keeping your hands on your, on your hip. Bend from your lower back. You are not going to curve. Bend from your lower back. Keep looking forward. Keep looking forward and keep going down. Keep going down. Down, down, down. As much as you can, your spine should be straight. Then keep going down. And once you are able to go down, bring your hands down in between that, in between the legs. In between the legs and then again, keep going down. As much as you can, your spine should be straight. No curve. Stay here. Feel the nice stretch on the legs. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then slowly come back to center, keeping your hands on your hip. Arch your back a little bit from the pose. One, two, three, four, five. Then slowly come back to center. Slowly come back to center and bring your legs together. Bring your legs together. Now from here, let us go again, down, again. From your lower back, bend forward to Uttanasana. Bring your hands down. Your spine should be straight like an L. Okay, L shape for the body. And then bring your elbows together, elbows together. Bring your elbows together in forward rows. It is like this, bring your elbows together. Look forward and then bend a little more down and do the dangling pose. Go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then from here, bring your hands in Namaskara 
again come to malasan come to malasan stay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now from here go to bajrasana with wide leg and then go to child pose go to child pose extend your hands forward and bring your forehead to the mat see to that you have your legs wide apart your toes are touching together stay here 1 and then then slowly come up. slowly come come up up okay yeah so these are the asanas mainly which will activate our base chakra which will activate our base chakra there are other asanas also like anjaneya asana a uh, warrior pose which will work on our lower part of the body all those also works on our works on our root chakra okay but these are the asanas which are directly related to the root chakra okay so what are the what are the advantages what are the advantages of activating our root chakra what are the advantages of activating our root chakra yeah what are the emotional benefits what are the physical benefits physically it works on our lower part of the body it works on our legs it works on our pelvic area it works on our spine also okay emotionally it is a center of survival it is a center of survival once this chakra is balanced once this chakra is balanced we will come out of the fear we will come out of the fear of our daily needs like say for example for emotionally if suppose we are looking at the security and stability in our in our mind we won't be feeling any more insecure or unstable so this chakra has to be balanced that is why most of the times everyone will be working on the kundalini yoga kundalini yoga is nothing but it works on our all the three base chakras from the root chakra swadhisthana and manipura chakra these three chakras only most of the most of them will work on when they work on kundalini yoga the kundalini yoga or the uh, it works on the um, energy of the three last chakras okay that is why that is why um, see for the lower the lowest chakra is the survival chakra second then next chakra is the creativity chakra the third one is the confidence chakra okay all these three one city is very strong for us we uh, need not worry about our survival instincts we need not worry about our confidence we will be automatically strong in doing everything okay so mentally we become more strong and stable when this chakra is balanced when we are having any fear it means that our chakra root chakra is not balanced we have to work more on this chakra okay so it is not just only the asanas it also work one suppose suppose we have any difficulty in the lower legs or the pelvic area muscles or our uh, spine we have to mentally also take our attention to that particular part of the body and there is something called as mental healing right it is also called as a placebo effect we won't be giving any medicines but mentally or taking your attention to that particular part of the body and that particular part of the body heals okay so that is how we have to work on it so that is why for that particular chakra each chakra has beej mantras and the base chakra or the root chakra has the mantra lam so it has to be chanted with the with the universal mantra om so it will be om lam om lam om lam okay so what we will do today is we will do all the relaxing poses and then we will do a lying down no need to sit lying down meditation but we will be working on the mantra om lam okay yeah so now we will do all the closing stretches first 
So lying down on the mat, lie down on the mat, lie down on the mat, keeping your hands by the side of the body, palms facing downward. If you are able to, bring your legs a little more closer and hold your ankles. Hold your ankles if you can. Hold your ankles. Now slowly lift your hip off the mat. Lift your hip off the mat and try to bring your chest towards the chin. Keep pushing your hip up, up, up and stay here. Bridge pose. Keep pushing your hip up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly bring your hip down. And stretch your leg, one leg down, the other leg bend up and bring it close to your chest. Ardha Pavana Muttasana. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch the right leg, bend your left leg, bring it close to your chest and stay. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch your leg, then bend your both the legs and bring it close to your chest. Stay here. Pavana Muttasana. Wind releasing pose. Very good for relieving the constipation and any issue related to your abdomen. Stay here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now from here, let us do the rocking and rolling. Slowly raise up and come down. Do the rocking. Do the rocking. Do the rocking. Rock up and down, up and down, holding your shape. Up and down. Then roll to the left. Then roll to the right. Roll to the left, roll to the right, roll to the left, roll to the right. Then come back to center. Come back to center and stretch your legs down and stretch your hands by the side of the body at the shoulder level. Now bend your right leg and keep it over your left thigh. Bend your right leg, keep it over your left thigh. With the support of the left hand, push your right knee towards the left. Push your right knee towards the left. And you look towards your right palm. Your lower body is towards the left and your upper body is towards the right. Feel the nice twist. Universal spinal twist. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to center and release your leg. And bend your left leg, keep it over your right thigh. Push your left knee towards the right with the support of the hand. And you look towards your left palm. See to that your left shoulder is on the ground. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly bring your leg up and stretch your leg down and lie down in Shavasana. Lie down in Shavasana, legs apart, toes falling outwards, hands by the side of the body, little away from the body, palms facing upwards, nose pointed to the ceiling, eyes closed. Your complete weight of the body is on the mat. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Take one more deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Now let us take our attention to the root chakra, base of the spine. Just keep your attention to the base of the spine. Imagine that there is a lotus with four petals. The lotus is red in color. The lotus is red in color. 
Now let us chant Om Lam. Om Lam. Om Lam. Om Lam. Oh, Feel the energy flow from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Stay there, just stay there, feeling the energy flow that is a red ball from the base of the spine moving towards the top of the head. Just keep visualizing this. The red ball from the base of the spine is moving towards the top of the head. Visualize this. Visualize this in your mind. Relax all your efforts, stay there in stillness and silence. Do normal breathing. Just stay there in stillness and silence for a few more seconds. Slowly becoming aware of your surroundings, start making movements, start wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers, stretch your legs, toes downwards, stretch your hands above your head, stretch your spine and then slowly roll over to your right side and whenever you're feeling comfortable with the support of the left hand, slowly sit up. Slowly sit up, slowly sit up with your eyes closed. In this calm state of mind, let us pray and bless this whole world, bringing your palms together. Oh, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Ma Kashitu Kabakbave O Shanti Shanti 
Shanti. Slow heat of your palms, generate heat. Cup it on your eyes and face. Feel the warmth, feel the energy. Now slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile.